When you see what this is, what you is are it? not going to believe what I think is in here. I'm so excited. This is intense. Whoa! Yes. Welcome home, Rep Back. Mark is here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoon, the show where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, all the way to the modern day. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and the world's biggest Nickelodeon collection. But not just that, the creator and CEO happens to be a regular at Madtown Skate Park. I want my agent! But I hope you beautiful people are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Comfort Cartoons Mail Time! Camera! You ready for it? I've been ready. Camera flip! I got your mail. What is it? It's about to get a whole lot brighter Rep Pack because your boy is here today. We are gonna be opening up some mail. We have three huge packages here. Well, one huge package, one large package, and one still pretty big, heavy package. All of which came from Don the Whale and also T-Dog. They're both awesome members of the Rep Pack. And if you guys don't know Don and T-Dog, they have an amazing Nickelodeon collection themselves. Be prepared, as Scar would say, because <laughs> I have zero expectations whenever we open up any of these packages. I'm just so grateful that anybody wants to send anything. Don and T-Dog usually send some really wild stuff. So prepare for anything. And at the end of this, or with any fan mail, we'll be labeling all the items that we're going to add here to the collection. And if you're interested in sending any fan mail, the address is on screen. And these videos are only possible due to you beautiful people. So make sure you guys show some love down below in the comments. If I have one request for you, just show these people. Don and T-Dog in particular in this video some love in the comments down below because there's no way we could do this series if it wasn't for you guys so thank you guys so much for that let's go ahead and hop on in so we're gonna start with this medium box I couldn't decide whether to start with the smallest box or the largest box so I said why not shoot for the middle so let's check it out here we have a letter and it says read after if you want items to be a surprise okay so for right now then we will put this to the side Mitchell's gonna put this in his right bottom pocket <laughs> Not your pockets, because that's just like, come on. Yeah, security. He's got a button for that one. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's check it out. I'll give you a. Hey. That's it for now. I saw one of my favorite dogs. Hey, I see him too. We got some Scooby Doo here. Oh my gosh, I saw something else here. Don and T Dog always troll me with this. Oh no. You guys know if you want to know how to troll me very easily, send me anything Jerry related. He is the symbol of <laughs> trolldom here on the channel. What is that? Like, a, like an ego? Yeah. Yeah, when he gets like flat and the waffle iron. Yeah, that's so cute though. I have a very, very um, controversial opinion that Jerry is the true villain of Tom and Jerry. So that's why people send me sometimes Jerry related stuff, especially Don and T-Doc. So thank you guys so much for sending this. He is super cute though. I feel like that one's really fitting though for you because like, oh yeah, he got stomped on by the waffle thing. Yeah, I was just thinking that in my head, but I didn't want to say it out loud. I'm glad he got flattened. <laughs> But our favorite brown guy here, besides me, is Scooby- <laughs> <laughs> We've got Scooby-Doo here. And it says, I love you. And it says, tin contains cherry flavored candy. And it's an actual sealed tin, which is so cute. Like part of me wants to open it to see what the candy looks like. Feels super solid. So it's probably been melted and congealed together. I think it's better we leave it sealed. But this came from 2001 and a very, very adorable Scooby-Doo product to add to the Scooby-Doo collection. And for those of you guys that are new to the channel, there is another room that we don't often film in all the time. We have the cartoon variety room that's kind of themed around all things Cartoon Network, Hanna-Barbera, Universal, but uh, this slowly is slowly becoming the Scooby-Doo room, <laughs> which I'm all for. We have the Scooby-Doo tin. All right, let's grab out this and oh my goodness. Look at this. Whoa. <laughs> this is a Cynthia doll Bendem. That is so so freaking sweet. That thing's huge. And it, my heart, I'm so happy because you guys know the story about how I only have this Cynthia doll here because I gave my regular Cynthia doll to my sister. So now we have a new Cynthia doll in the collection. I love it. It looks spot on. It looks so good. Okay, keeping it going here. Oh man, the trolling. The only trolling I will take and stride is from the rep pack. Oh, uh, Paw Patrol. I, 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 
even said they had a water. This is a path water for Paw Patrol. <laughs> it's so cute though. And shout out to them for, you know, wrapping it up in plastic because you never know, something could pop. We'd hate for that to get all over the Cynthia and stuff. How crazy. So we have TMNT, SpongeBob, and now uh, Paw Patrol. Literally their big three right now as far as uh, merchandise is definitely TMNT, SpongeBob, of course, and now Paw Patrol. Uh, well, not now, I mean, for many years now, almost a decade, Paw Patrol has been huge. So I, I'm not surprised they got their own path of water bottle as well. <laughs> that one's adorable though. It is super cute. You have the paw prints all over it. And of course you've got Sky and also you've got Chase on there too. Super cute. And of course we'll be adding this to the Nickelodeon food collection. What is this? I have never seen these before. Well, actually, I, I've only seen like one pack. Ooh. What is this going on? We got lemon cards? Lemon cards? Lemon cards? Yeah. yeah, and these are made in Italy. So these are made in Italy. And like I told you, Don and T-Dog always find the most unique stuff. And they need to help me out with their research because they find so many randomly cool items. These are from Italy. But I noticed this one's different from the rest. That's so why I separated it. Maybe it's like a promo pack. Yeah, I segregated that one. Just just because that one has like a special packaging, but it could be the same thing. We're not gonna open that one, but I have to open up one of these. We got a bunch here, so let's go ahead and pop it open and see what the cards look like. Oh my goodness, Ooh. already. So they're like laminated cards. <laughs> That's so fun. So we have SpongeBob here, which looks awesome. We have a vampire SpongeBob here. I love it. And then we have some more cards. Oh my gosh, I'm already like wanting this whole set. <laughs> Just two cards in and I'm already wanting the whole set. It's a SpongeBob quiz. The real quiz is do you speak Italian? <laughs> che lavoro fa SpongeBob. That was pretty good. I would have believed you were Italian <laughs> for a second. I don't know what it says, but something, something SpongeBob. And then what behind here? Oh, we have a pearl card where she's crying out here, and oh, you have the SpongeBob skulls all over it, and it says No, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know that one says. And then after that one, we've got Ooh. the SpongeBob catching a patty here. I love the translucent look here. That is interesting. And then we. Have have the double squirter here, Master Cook, with the SpongeBob squirting the ketchup and mustard. That is a Dang. super fun card series. So this must be a promo. I know, and I want to open up another one. How many packs do we have? You know I like even numbers here, so let's see what we got here. One, two, 14. Damn, it's already an even number. Okay, <laughs> so we're gonna leave them sealed. Maybe, maybe what I'll do is we could do these in a separate video, opening these up. Maybe there'll be a bonus video, something of that kind. But man, that was already so much fun. So let's put those to the side there. Thank you so much Don and T-Dog already for all the stuff you guys sent in. Such a blast and like I always say these fan mail videos are so much fun. One because I never know what's going to be inside of it and two because I get to connect with you beautiful people and it's an awesome way for you guys to be able to connect with somebody else who watches the show just like you and they support on whatnot and are also kings and queens of Patreon. So thank you so much to Don and T-Dog for your support on every level. We appreciate you so much. Alright next up here oh my goodness dude. Belly washers. Hey. We have the belly washer for Patrick here. So you guys know I love collecting my SpongeBob food products for the Galay Grub, and we're just expanding the Galay Grub. I have officially submitted to my kitchen becoming part of the collection. It said, "Why aren't you in uniform?" And oh, I, I, I got a uniform. Yeah. <laughs> but one of the items that is hard to collect are these belly washer bottles because they have now what are the what are they called? The Good to Grow? Yeah, Good to Grow, and they use some of these same models. I believe it's made by the same company, but belly washers are the original, man. These are the ones that we grew up in. We by. grew up in them? I mean, I did because I didn't have, my mom didn't have a lot of space, you know, so she had to put us in bottles. <laughs> no. I grew up with these belly washers, though, and I remember drinking them being so satisfying, like, oh, man, my belly needed a good washing. But a lot of fun there, and definitely a clutch item we'll be adding to the collection. And either they expand the like grub, or maybe we'll even fit this one somewhere over here in the background. We never know. Oh, and then we have some more unique food products here we have the candy characters but we got plankton there we got sponge and then of course we got the pat back right there too i love it very very cool product as well and i love anytime we can add food products to the collection because like i say that's some of the hardest stuff to collect oh mitchell you're gonna love this one we got the scooby-doo hey. graham crackers right here in the collection and these are the cinnamon ones and then what else do we have here oh mitchell we have the scooby-doo hey. cheese it's as well that is so awesome. You have all the different characters right there on the side. You've got King Mr. Got Shaggy, Scooby Doo's collar, his paw print, and a Scooby snack, I guess. Or a yeah, so much fun there. Look at how big Scooby's eye is on the back. <laughs> 
Those are both great snacks. Yeah, absolutely. And I love that Scooby is still, you know, around in merchandising. Okay. And then, fruit snacks. Hell yeah, he does. And yes, we have a SpongeBob belly washer. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely Gotta awesome. Have both. Yeah, because, you know, when I do the Galay Grub in here, you know, this room is very much what we can display. You know, the archives and the vault is really where we put everything in order to preserve things. This room is more of our filming setup. And I have to be very exclusive with what I put on the Galay Grub here because there's only so much we can fit there but i think what i'm gonna do is put the spongebob one back there just so we have some belly washer representation because a lot of people grew up with these belly washers me included and i think it'd be nice to have this one up here and then what patrick one will go in the expanded collection in the kitchen okay next up this is wrapped up here what do we got Ooh, going on mystery oh my goodness what even Whoa. is this this is awesome is that like a like a paint coin bank thing or something i'm pretty sure that's what it has to be it's like a coin bank that you paint that is so cool though i love the white look to it because it kind of gives it like that prototype like rough draft design look to it we're gonna have to add this somewhere back over there with the movie setup because that's actually the same model they use for him holding the popcorn pretty much yeah they just put his hands up a little bit yeah i don't know whether i want to add this into my kitchen or if i want to add this into the actual background there with the tv setup but very very cute and awesome okay so next up oh we have another box of the overseas spongebob card game pretty yes yeah, super beautiful that's I what love it says on the, on the box. I was like, I haven't heard Mitchell say pretty before like that, but, <laughs> but but it made sense. It is very pretty. But this one, again, maybe we'll have to save this for like a special SpongeBob card opening video where we open up a little Italy, a little China, and maybe, uh, you know, who knows what else we'll be opening up. Maybe we can open up some other cards as well, too. But for right now, we'll keep that stack right there. And uh, thank I'm you guys so much. That. That's a different set. Yeah, I'm excited to see those. We've even completed the first set and we're going to open up another door. Man, don't even. There's so many sets now, like the Nick Expression sets, too, the SpongeBob sets. Uh, it's freaking fairly odd parents, so uh, there's too many. I'm just committed to the fact that I know I won't complete every set ever, but I'm gonna complete as much of each of them as I possibly can. <laughs> Damn sure. Oh my gosh, I see the Nicktoons logo in there. Ooh. Yes, but I'm gonna save that one for next here. Let's go ahead and pop this open. We've got a Patrick lunchbox. That is adorable. Oh my gosh, and it's from Paramount Park. That is so freaking awesome. And it's from 2006, so Paramount Park's 2006 Patrick lunchbox. And feel that guy. That is heavy. Oh, there's something inside. Oh, there might be, huh? Let's check it out. Let's see it. Ooh. Oh, no my way. goodness. No way. You said that already, but no. it's still no way. <laughs> This is SpongeBob peanut butter and jelly. Dang. I actually didn't even know this was a thing. <laughs> I have to applaud Don and T Dog as always for being amazing. I have never even heard about this peanut butter and jelly. I I would have ran my mom broke <laughs> if I would have known this was. I love peanut butter and jelly so much when I was a kid, and it's from 2005, so it's my favorite year of, of the <laughs> human experience. That is literally my favorite year of life. 2005, SpongeBob peanut butter and jellyfish jelly i'm gonna call it jellyfish jelly that is amazing that's the premium and, and premium grape jelly that is awesome yeah and then what do we have here we have a nick candy spongebob krabby patty but this is a different variation it's easter yeah so we have now in the collection this is super clutch because we have the nick candy for the original krabby patty we have the sour and now we even have an easter variant of the nick candy logo in particular as well that is mind-blowing this is just an incredible like, lunchbox. Shout out to this lunchbox for keeping everything in great shape. And then we also have a can of 2017 SpongeBob soup. Look at the characters. Oh my gosh. Is Squiddy doing the thing? Squidward is doing the thing in noodle, noodle form. form. Noodle form. And if you guys haven't already checked out the Comfort Cartoon Archive channel, we actually have an official now Squidward doing the thing counter where every time we feature an item on the show, we add a new Squidward doing the thing onto the counter as well. So uh, eventually when we get to archive this item, we'll have another Squidward doing the thing. Oh my <laughs> God, there's gonna be so many. Look at the plankton, look at Patrick. That's my favorite one. <laughs> that look, yeah, at, he's like, look at his lip. <laughs> and then we got Gary. And then of course we have the sponge himself. This Patrick lunchbox blew my mind. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> that is adorable too. All right, we're gonna have to make some room here. But Don and T-Dog have already blown away any, I didn't have any, ex I never have any expectations, but truly never expect anything like this. So thank you guys from the bottom of my Nickelodeon heart. 
Thank you. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> the next up here, we have the Yellow Ooh. Avenger. And this one I'm pumped for because we do have this guy sealed in the collection, but I've never played this game. And Mitchell, what have I been recently playing on a Game Boy? Battle for Bikini Bottom. Yes, I am slowly starting to play all these games on my off time whenever I get a chance. And I don't have a PlayStation Portable, but I need to get one because I would love to be able to play this. This is the, we have an actual copy that's playable now of the Yellow Avenger. I love so much you have him with the mermaid man belt on there with all the little gizmos and little knobs and everything on it the cover of this is incredible oh my goodness gracious you're not gonna believe this there are two things in here you're not gonna believe but one of them is coming out first we have a fairly odd parent snow globe i what the heck? cannot believe this i need to see this now oh, it does look like there might be a little bit of damage but nonetheless this is still incredible so we have the fairy Fairly odd parents snow globe here and it's actually not damaged Cosmo just isn't you know as buoyant as he used to be so he moves around there but I think originally maybe he had some air inside of him or something like that that kind of helped him float a little bit but either way this is still beautiful and a new fairly odd parents product to add to the collection you know we've only recently started working on this fairly odd parents section here and man we're gonna have to make a little bit of space over there because I want to add the snow globe on there somehow I gotta say I really love their product like the coloring the blue yeah fairly odd parents is a very unique product style that I almost say rivals Spongebob almost and when it comes to Nickelodeon with like the green and the white label era of just looking really nice like that blue looks amazing yeah it just sticks out so well so I'm gonna open this one up just because I want to take a closer look at it and man that is cool so you have like the kind of little castles you have oh, around Timmy just in the ocean I guess oh, I didn't even see Timmy yet you have Timmy there with the little uh, sandy helmet on and you have the actual how the has his hat on the outside of the dome <laughs> Gotta keep it on somehow, right? And then we have the uh, little castles that they have inside of these fish bowls. But we have both of them right here. Super, super cute. I love it. And then next up, oh my goodness. I already yeah. have like six of these from Don and T-Dog. We have another Jerry keychain. <laughs> but I guess I'll just keep adding adding my Jerry's up. <laughs> I feel like I have to go on my own now and start looking for Tom stuff to counteract this. And let's see what we got. Oh, I see a little Nicktoon. I, I no longer see a little Nick too. <laughs> it slipped out of this plastic here. We have Danny Whoa. Phantom. He is a little bit ringed up here, but we still have Danny Phantom from the Nicktoons line. I have literally been looking for this Danny Phantom for I don't even know how long, like five years, have trying to get this one. I've never seen that, ever. Every single time I try to get this Danny Phantom, he always sells before I can actually get him. Wow. So the fact that we finally have one in the collection, I'm just stoked about that. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> I've literally, like I said, always wanted to get this one. So the fact that we finally have him in here, this is by Jazzwares. We have a couple of them over there. We got Timmy, Cosmo, Wanda, we got Jimmy, we have a Tommy Pickles back here, and slowly kind of adding them up, but now we can check Danny, at least for right now, off that list. So thank you so much. And I don't know if he came separated like this or if it got happened in the shipping, but either way, thank you so much. You guys tried your best to get it here protected though, because you can see the wrap, it was on this cardboard and also wrapped up in bubble wrap. So thank you guys so much for taking the time. Okay, so that was the first box right there and that was incredible. We have a big box here. Should we go big box or little box? Hmm. I say little box and say the big box for last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. We can go through the little box here and see what is going on. <laughs> can we read the note now that we've opened everything? <laughs> The last one will read the note. Oh, okay, okay. So inside here, I already see they trolled me with another Jerry. Oh, man, we got a little Jerry collection going. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say there's a Jerry collection. It's a Jerry... Infestation. Infestation, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now, Jerry, I appreciate him so much. Thank you. This is a, it looks like Chinese uh, Jerry that at adorable. that. adorable. <laughs> He's very cute. He is very... I cannot deny it. He's very cute. I can deny it no longer. He is very cute, but... <laughs> Yes, Jerry. We have him there just watching us. It has a note. It says, so 1,000 books to be a library. We always find many books in the wild and forget what we have and buy doubles. But we also pick up things if we see, if we think you would enjoy. Well, thank you so much. And I appreciate you so much for, for thinking of me. That's so sweet of you guys. And it means so much to me. We hope you enjoy. And we know 
know, some books are a little well seasoned, but they're still cool titles. Well, no worries at all. I just, the fact that you're saying anything, I appreciate. So it does not matter the condition. I appreciate whatever we're going to check out here. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's take a look here. Off the gate here, we've got the video Ooh. now for Fairly Odd Parents. I don't think we have in the collection yet. I don't think we have a lot of the black and white ones. So we have Fairly Odd Parents there. And then we've got the one that I always wanted as a kid. We have the SpongeBob one here. Like I said, I had the one that you got like free with the game. And I was like a couple other ones, but it wasn't this one. I always wanted to get the SpongeBob disc for this one. So I'm so glad we did. Looks like I got a little loose here. So let me clamp it back in there. But we have SpongeBob and also Fairly Odd Parents video now disc. New to archive in the collection. And then we got a big stack of books here. So let's just go through all of these books and check them out. So we have Parent Day with Hey Arnold. We have Mr. Fancy Pants. Look at those Ooh. pants. Is that look, a, look at Patrick in the back. <laughs> Who is he? I don't know him anymore. Stink face. <laughs> Checking the book out though. It's one of the little golden books and I love the illustrations. Those are so adorable. Love it. New addition to the collection. We have SpongeBob Party Time. We have the song that never ends. We have Doug's Big Comeback. And oh, this one is awesome. Ooh. SpongeBob Exposed. And it has like a little exposed lenticular where you get to see him with his underpants. He has pants on, then he just has his underwear, and then it's just nothing on. Oh, so it's three. So it's pants, underpants, and then exposed. <laughs> that is sick. Oh, Painty the Pirates is ahoy there. Welcome to the insider guide to SpongeBob SquarePants. You are going to learn the behind the scenes stories of how SpongeBob came to be. And that Painty is such a nice quality print. Now, are you ready? Yes, I am. Dang. We got a very, very young, I mean, Tom Kenny's a handsome dude, but damn, man. Look at young Tom Kenny, Mr. Steal Your Squirrel. That's <laughs> <laughs> Meet the cast as SpongeBob SquarePants, and it has his likes, his dislikes, his occupation, pets, his home, favorite hangouts. Uh oh, which are jellyfishing and goo lagoon. Signature quote. I'm ready. Yes. Random quote. You taught me a valuable lesson, although I'm not quite sure what it was. But the whole book breaks down every character, their likes, their dislikes, all of it. Oh. Squidward doing the thing outside of his home. The artist loft, it breaks down his house, artist loft. I just assumed that was like his upstairs, but it's an artist loft. We know about lofts. Yeah, we know about lofts, we be building them. There are strange things in Squidward's closet. Oh, <laughs> mysterious. Rooftop sunbathing. And we still don't know how he gets up on the roof. <laughs> yeah. Then you've got a breakdown of Sandy's. Literally, I could talk about this book in its own video, honestly. I could break down this whole book oh my easily. Gosh, there's yeah, there's so much to be broken down here. That's incredible. It has a premiere date of several different episodes. It has of all the first season episodes here. It has a SpongeBob quiz here too. All right, SpongeBob's quiz. What does SpongeBob make Squidward a sweater out of? His tears or eyelashes. Yes, yes, you got both of them. I made this one with my tears. <laughs> I cannot wait to dive into this book. And thank you so much for sending this one in. This has got to be my favorite one so far of like the books we've gotten recently, just to be able to check this out and learn any small details that even I didn't know. So we have SpongeBob's Hands Off. We've got SpongeBob's Secret Valentine. We've got SpongeBob's Bottom Up. We've got a very clean copy of Spongini. We have SpongeBob and the Princess. And also we have two copies of SpongeBob and the Princess here. We have the Atlantis Square Pantus. We have SpongeBob Slapshot. We've got SpongeBob Class Confusion. We got SpongeBob Goes to the Doctor. SpongeBob Soccer Star. This one I know we don't have for sure. Batter Up here. That is going to be a fun one to read. Well, an Underwater Welcome. We've got the Great Snail Race. And oh, we've got some Rugrats ones here. We have the Rugrats Movie Story. The Rugrats Story of Hanukkah Special. And we have Doug. And that's cool because, fun fact, Doug actually started as a book before it became a show. Oh, okay. And that's something I have to go out there and pick up. I've been wanting to find the first ever book of Doug before he became a show. Because that would definitely be something awesome to archive in the collection here. But, story by Jim Jenkins, who is also the creator of the show. So not always do you get the books also made by the people that make the show. So awesome that that one is made. It's like a, basically almost, you could say, a canon story considered it's written by the creator. So, we have a Kim Possible book right here where they drew a goatee on her even though she already has a mustache. 
they drew a goatee on Ron, and they even drew one on Senior, Senior, Junior, who kind of looks like he already had one, but it's on there. We also got a gift of the gift of Gab. We got two promises too many. We have Surf Up. We have Double Trouble. We have Down Kill. We hit Downhill. Oh, Downhill. Teacher's Pest, The Funny Monsters, AKA Doug Funny. We have Doug Chronicles, Doug Chronicles. We got some Powerpuff Girls. We got two copies of Hands Off. We got Ice Cream Dreams, Bubble Blowers Beware, a double of Bubble Blowers Beware, The Good, The Bad, and The Crabby, Sick Day, The Long Hot Recess. That's literally been me and Mitchell pretty much the whole freaking summer. Yeah. <laughs> the last two, three months. Accurate. Yeah. Then we've got The Book of Inventions. We have Yo Gabba Gabba, Yo Gabba Gabba. Gabba and this one Mudo's family looks exactly like him but just with clothes and hair. We have the Rugrats movie. We have I love this one. I didn't even know there was Go Wild books. Angelica Island Princess. Franklin, Franklin, and we have Teen Titans Go as well too. And that's all the books except for two more here that are bangers. We have the Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius Whoa. book. That's got an amazing cover, right? Dude, that is so sick of lenticular. Yeah, like I've never seen a book like that. Like, oh, it's 3D. It. Oh, no, it is lenticular. It's like both. I think like lenticular usually is 3D in itself, right? Like Goddard doesn't really like do much different, but like but you the depth. see it's like the 2D. space. Yeah. It's like 3DS 3D. But then like Jimmy actually moves. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. You got a little two of them. And then on the inside here, let's take a look. Oh, the illustrations are freaking killer on this. That is awesome. It looks beautiful. Oh man, it's that episode where those dudes try to take over at one point. Just the movie. Oh, there's an episode here yeah, and the movie where they come back. Jimmy Neutron, the Empire Strikes Back, one hour special. Can there's them on all the uh, the roller coaster ride pieces. I always thought Sheen had the coolest one, the bat with the Ultra Lord mask on. All right, so that book is incredible. I love the cover on that one in particular. And then this one is wild. We have the what? Card Mania, which has Cosmo and Wanda on it, SpongeBob, and also an older. Tommy right there from All Grown Up. Oh, Danny on the side. Yeah, Danny on the back too. Got Danny on the side, Danny on the back. And you got, it says, want to be a pro at card games? Yes, yes I do. It's not gonna help you with Yu-Gi-Oh, Mitchell. It's a deal me in. <laughs> <laughs> with this book, you can be, and you won't have to beg your neighbors to borrow playing cards or ask your folks for 21. What a weird sentence that is. You don't have to beggar your neighbor. I think beggar is a slight, like a slang for cards. So whether you play solitaire or with crazy eight friends. See, they're all card games. That's or why. even your pet pig. Yeah, they're all card games. That is awesome though, and a very unique product that's like, you know, could have gone very quickly into like purity, I like to say. And it has a book to go with it too. Like, I'd love just that we can put this in the collection as just an item to be able to reach for is like kind of a crazy, who would have thought the Nickelodeon characters that you trying to play 21? Yeah, that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a weird thing, but awesome. It's like something to be exclusively sold in Vegas. Very true, very true. It's wild. But that's actually not just it for this box. We also have a couple of VHSs in here. We have Dr. Pickles right here. Yeah, and then we got five Rugrats Remedies. Because definitely, as a comfort cartoons is the channel name, this would be a comfort cartoon for me. I always throw VHSs into the VHS tape whenever I'm feeling down, or if I'm feeling a little under the weather, or over the weather. It doesn't matter, I'll put on a VHS to help me calm down also just have a chill day so it's awesome to be able to have this one and then also we have the all real monsters hey. and i think that's our first all real monsters vhs with the orange tape that we can add into the collection so that is amazing and it actually says uh nickelodeon video on there which the other ones don't usually say that so that's a very unique one and i'm proud to be able to add finally one all real monsters tape into the collection is it classy or no this is also classy super okay, yeah. yep one of their lesser i wouldn't say lesser successful but I mean, definitely not as as big as it is here. But this show is huge in Sweden. Huh. Specifically. Specifically. <laughs> it really was. It was like a big phenomenon in Sweden. But for some reason in America, it was like, you know, pretty good. Most people stuck with Rugrats and, you know, wild thornberries and a little bit of rocket power. But it was a hit over there. Okay, and speaking of rocket power, we have the, the island of Menehune right here. Stop, thief! You steal my soul! Ah! <laughs> 
And then we have more rocket power here. We have the rocket power video now color, which I know for sure is new to the collection. So super happy to have this one here as well too. Okay, and that is it for this box. Man, this has been an opening. A wild one at that. <laughs> There's been so much variety here. It is they, an opening indeed. Absolutely killer. So thank you guys so much. So many items that blew my mind. Like I'm still looking at this thing, the card mania. It's just such a unique thing you never see. Exactly, it's perplexing honestly. And those are some of my favorite things to collect. They're just the stuff where you're like, huh, they made this? And for archival purposes, like I said, this is one of the things where you're like, who knows how many people kept this sealed or how many they made. Yeah, I mean, it's also eye-opening because you're like, oh, well now I can kind of see maybe they made stuff like that for other stuff. Exactly, and be able to recall on that item in particular whenever we talk about Nickelodeon card games. <laughs> okay, so we have the big box left. Let's go ahead and check this out. It looks like they drew SpongeBob on here and I feel bad because USPS covered it up and I have not seen inside the package yet. We just opened it up and Mitchell checked the top to see if there were any letters inside. So in case there was any kind of introductory letter that we might have missed. So let's go ahead and check it out. Mitchell said there was something in there that I might really, really be surprised about. So let's see what's in there. Made me anxious here. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, I see. I caught. Did you see that? Oh my God. God, they got Jerry, you get Jerry. out of the way. No, dude, do you know what this is? Yeah, it's a bikini bottom bus luggage. Oh my gosh, no, dude. This is- It's a roller backpack, is it not? This is the one I had as a kid. That is so sick. That is wild. What the hell? Literally goosebumps. That is so sweet. That is so thoughtful, dude. That is amazing. That is literally is like the goosebumps are taking up my entire arm. That is the sweetest thing ever. They are very, very thoughtful. I have talked about this on the live streams before that I always wanted to get this backpack I had in elementary school. Wow, man, this is crazy seeing it now. We've talked about waves of nostalgia hitting me before. This is like stepping into the ocean of nostalgia. It is beautiful. Literally like, wow, I actually like can't even believe that I'm looking at this right now. That is such a thoughtful and kind gift. Like I said, I mean, that's probably one of the most thoughtful gifts I've ever received in general. That's just such an amazing piece. And the fact that they actually like listened in the live stream and heard me talk about this backpack I had as a kid. And I'm pretty sure that's why they put this in here. And whether that's the case or not I don't know but thank you guys so much that is like one of my dream items here yep. wow like I'm not like, I'm excited but it's like my brain is still like processing everything did you know little Marcus all those years ago dragged around the, the thing. thing what <laughs> the heck that's like full circle I was driving around with this little backpack well I didn't know in the future I was gonna talk about you for a living <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna talk about you in particular mr. thing what in the hell and I'm telling you Mitchell I would literally carry this thing around with me like it, I felt so proud of this backpack too like I was like yeah I got the Spongebob backpack and like so many of the kids in my school had like you know the regular Spongebob backpack yeah and they all lost some, some kids at the same one nobody else in my school had this backpack and everybody knew me because I had this orange <laughs> backpack I was the kid with the orange backpack and I wore my jacket with just the hood on and not the arms and I would just like <laughs> run around school the fact that they actually remembered that little story Story I told on whatnot and how excited it made me and they actually picked it up is just a an evidence for you guys of how incredible you guys are you guys are so sweet. literally sweating this is seriously one of the items I will cherish the most now being that this is one of the core memories I have of Spongebob and the merchandise that I had as a kid so the fact that now we have one in the collection is incredible and I will cherish this forever and always so the fact that it came from a rep pack member took it even over the top I mean I could have maybe if I would have bought this myself it would have been great but the fact that it came from somebody so thoughtful such awesome members of the red pack that support what we do here means more than the world to me thank you so much okay so let's take a look at everything else we got in here it looks like there's a lot of fun stuff to go through let me give you a blah, 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 blah. and we got Jerry they put Jerry on top of the backpack just teasing me about it so to speak we got Jerry right here though so we have literally a Jerry collection here we have three Jerry plushies now <laughs> Oh, you can't forget about the keychain, Gary. <laughs> and the keychain of Jerry. There it is, the, the Jerry collection. <laughs> Oh man, so this box is gonna get crazy. First off, we have Daggett from Angry Beavers. That is super cool. He's got an adorable little pajama suit on with the uh, old school cartoon hat. And his eyes are so clean. 
clean too. The whole figure is super clean. We only have one Daggett in here right now, and that's the pull string Daggett, you know? Yeah, the little like chopper. Yeah, so this one is really, really adorable. And we're definitely gonna put this one on display with the other one. I have the other Daggett on display because, you know, some Blues Clues plushies, SpongeBob ones, we put them up in the plushie basket because we have so much representation of those characters already. But for Daggett, like, you know, I have to put him on display because he is adorable. He's so sweet looking too. Oh my gosh. They found one of the pins. Remember those Ooh. pins? We were at Hot Topic looking for the SpongeBob icicle pins. Oh my gosh, pins. please tell me this is Squidward. <laughs> who knows who it's gonna be? But they have Squidward, Plankton, Patrick, SpongeBob, of course, Iconic, Gary, and Sandy. Oh. But we were looking for these pins at Hot Topic and we could not find them. They ran out of stock. I will be happy with anybody, but it would be cool to see Patrick, Squidward, or Sandy. Let's see who we got here. Patrick! Hey. <laughs> he is the other character that should definitely get an ice cream pop like and its a own. Strawberry or something? Oh, yes. A strawberry. Or pink would bubble be... gum or something? Pink bubble gum would be okay, but strawberry would be incredible. <laughs> like a nice, hangy, sweet strawberry. You know, SpongeBob not... is what? Fruit punch? Fruit punch flavored. Yeah. yeah. I love it, though. We're definitely going to be putting this on the Nickelodeon pin board. Hey, next up, we have a fairly odd parents candle. We just what? featured uh, the SpongeBob candle that we showed, but now we have a fairly odd parents one. You can see that same blue packaging you were talking about. I know it's like a different language, but it says bougie. It's bougie. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bougie. <laughs> <laughs> These candles always tend to break. As you see, there's a small little breakage right here, but it is okay. As long as you keep them inside of this little blister, you can still, you know, kind of make it out. But we have the Cosmo and Wanda candle here. And the fact that they never got melted is even better <laughs> because some of them are like melted down to the bottom. It's still nice to just see Cosmo and Wanda right there. Oh, you ready for a picture, Mitchell? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We have the Nickelodeon camera. So you can slide it open here to actually take the picture, and it looks like you can put your film reel inside here. Ooh, that's so cool. You know, back when you had to take them to Costco, Sam's Club to get them developed, you know? Yeah. That is awesome, though, and I think we don't have very many, sort of like maybe like one or two of these items from the collection that they released. Ryan will put some of them on screen. They had a bunch of different things, even like a desk lamp you could get that Nickelodeon had made. So it's awesome to be able to have a camera in here. And you know what? I got to get another film reel because, you know, the Kodak ones that would come with the film reel in there, you know? Yeah, you get like 20 pictures. Yes, yeah, so I think the SpongeBob camera we actually have in here actually has a picture of me and Parker on it somewhere that we haven't got developed yet. Oh, I would no. love to be able to take a little picture here uh, of Mitchell <laughs> holding the camera. But we don't have any film right now. Okay, keeping it going here, it just keeps going. Oh my goodness, do you know what this is? Is that a thermometer? This is not oh. just the thermometer. Musical? This is the digital thermometer that is for your mouth, but also your rectum. So a <laughs> very, very cool SpongeBob product um, that you might not think would have existed, but yes, if you put this in your bum or in your mouth, which is what you do with thermometers, not saying anything too, you know, odd here, and it plays music. <laughs> <laughs> and I had this very same thermometer growing up, and I'll never forget, I'll never forget holding this thermometer up. I never got to use it in my rectum, um, fortunately. But I do remember holding it up against, like, my sister's desk lamps. You remember how hot those, like, old school desk lamps would get with a little metal rim around them? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I would hold it over there one, I did it once, okay? Did it one time to pretend I was sick from school and it didn't work it said like 107 or something and my mom was like yeah if you're dying or you cheated like you did something to this <laughs> but that is amazing oh this is amazing Ooh. this is an aural monsters flashlight that is too cool where did they make this when did they make this how did they do this this is incredible you have obelina on there and a little side clip to go onto your pants or your belt buckle and then of course the trigger right here to turn it on but like when was this released oh you know this probably like 1999 or something. Oh yeah, it's got them big, fat, giant, like, what are they, oh, D batteries, okay. those huge ones. Yeah, the massive ones. <laughs> when I was, it's funny because like nowadays, flashlights, they usually have double A or just the plug-in ones. But when we were kids, if you saw a flashlight, you always assumed they were those big ones. Oh yeah. I mean, that was like pretty much what all flashlights had. But now you rarely ever see a flashlight with those big giant batteries in it. But I'm definitely gonna get some batteries for this because this is beautiful. The literally, look at the little sculpt of Obelina on it. That is so unique and fun. And the whole theme of Auro Monster is like spooky and you know, in the night. So the fact that you could actually use this little uh, flashlight as a kid to protect you from possible monsters <laughs> that could be in your room is so cute. Okay, so sorry for the little jump cut here. 
we actually had to get ready for our normal whatnot stream that we have every single Friday, but we are going back right where we left off. I still am mind blown at everything that we opened up so far. We haven't had a chance to put everything in the collection. Everything is exactly where it is, but Don and T-Dog's package was so loaded that we actually had to break it down into two pieces, but we're putting the course into one video for you beautiful people. But let's check out where we left off. Okay, so we have a bunch of these capsules here, but these are some of the old school ones, and you can see these are Nickelodeon ones. We've, we've showed on this channel some of these SpongeBob ones before on screen, but we've never seen the Nickelodeon ones, nor have I ever had any of the Nickelodeon ones growing up. So let me get all the ones they have out here, and then we'll check them out one at a time. Oh my gosh, I already see one that's blowing my mind. I was just bringing them out, but I got just and now I'm gonna talk about it. <laughs> we have a flying Dutchman bouncy ball. Whoa. Where is this even from? That is so cool. I wonder why it's numbered. Yeah, it's number five on it. Maybe for like collectability or some kind of game, but that is amazing. The Dutchman ball is the most cool for sure to me. I don't know what other ones there might be, but let's take out the rest of these. We have next here, we have, it looks like we have Phil, which is adorable here. And again, guys, these are vintage. These are literally the ones you would have gotten out of the coin push machines probably in the late 90s early 2000s all the way to the modern day <laughs> exactly <laughs> then we have sheen it looks like yeah, he's got green hair <laughs> yeah look at how many bikes there is to his hair i've ever seen grass. so many of them <laughs> his bar must give him that taper fade like a little lawnmower on his head <laughs> <laughs> next up we've got little tim look at little timmy Next we got Big Carl, Carl Weezer. There's such a variety here. We also have Arnold from Hey Arnold, of course, and he's got a little airplane. I guess it's a little airplane, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, very cute. And then we have her. I think she's from Fairly Odd Parents. I don't, I feel like this might be the only physical figure this character might have. I think her name might be Spankarella. Ryan will have to help me on screen here. But this is awesome. She's a giant like spatula. Then we have Sponge here. Oh my gosh. Is this like a little bobbler? It's like the cake topper we have. Yeah, it's like a little bobbled that head. Is so, <laughs> so it sits there and it bobbles. Very aggressively. It, it, it sponge bobbles. But I love those ones too because they actually have a little stand. Because these things, you know, most of them, like we take Sheen out of here, he's likely not going to stand. Speakerella, definitely likely not going to stand. But that's cool because you could actually kind of display that one. All of them are amazing. But it's really nice if some of them have that stand like this one with Gerald. He's either skateboarding with a football or he's running on grass. I'm going to go with the ladder. <laughs> and of course, he can stand just like that as well. I love this so much. Oh, look at this plankton man I just like life-size yeah <laughs> <laughs> those grubby little hands then we've got mr. Krabs here not life-size I would assume yeah <laughs> I just realized the uh same plankton down there oh yeah you're right Mitchell said it's down there on the bottom of the machine as well a little grubby <laughs> oh look at his lips look at his lips <laughs> he looks like the pea shooter for plants vs zombies <laughs> <laughs> what do you think he's saying on the phone Oh my gosh, we have a new Gary. I don't know where he fits in with our wall of Garys, but let's see what he'll size in there. But this is definitely one we don't have in the Gary collection, which is a thing. As small as he is, I feel like he's actually pretty large. Yeah, he's way bigger than most of the Garys we have. But why is this one, dude? This is such a nice quality one. Like, for being one that was 50 cents, I feel like this is one that's better than some that are like a couple bucks. That that's is amazing. Sick. What oh is my this? Gosh. so small. He's so tiny. Oh my God. <laughs> We have Donnie, but why is he so adorably tiny? <laughs> that is ridiculous. That's the best Donnie. <laughs> that is the best Donnie figure I've seen in my life. <laughs> Next up, we have Norbert looking cool. You don't see any freaking Angry Beavers representations. The fact that they've got a representation and made presumably the same kind of line as Sheen is wild. We have Lil now. We got Phil earlier, so now we have the Lil to go with that. Ooh, what do we have in this one? This one's curious. It's Chester! Oh. <laughs> I did not expect to see a Chester one in here. We have Chester. <laughs> Nothing makes sense anymore! Then who do we have here? It's a baby. Try and guess. Hi, Tommy. <laughs> yes, it's a very, very tiny Whoa. Tommy. Dude, this was 50 cents, but I swear, this looks like in some ways, I mean, of course, the mouth is a little bit, you know, blackened, but like, besides that, it looks better than some of the ones you pay like a buck, you know, $2 for now, like five below. It actually has like depth to it, yeah. Yeah, like the depth and the quality on it is pretty amazing. 2001 was when this was released, too. So, you know, right towards the start of the 2000s. Then we got Lies and looks like her arms all crossed, like, yeah, what up? 
I just beat the animals. What okay. about it? <laughs> you can't. I can. I gotta show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the cat dog one. This one has to come from a different line because it actually comes with a sticker. Ooh. Now that's a little bonus. You get a sticker and also a cat dog figure. That is amazing and so adorable. Another one that's gonna be hard for me to keep it inside of its container because I just want to put it somewhere in the collection. And then we have the cleft. The Boy Chin Wonder. That one is like Dang. freaking king size too. That one is so high quality. I think it actually goes on a pencil because look at the divot here. Ooh. I think it actually has to go on a pencil. That would be the coolest pencil topper I've ever seen in my life. That is unbelievable. Where did you get that? <laughs> I'm going to take that. And the best one of all is a Crimson Chin. Whoa. A Crimson Chin figurine. That is the greatest thing in life. That is amazing, dude. Look at that! I love how his glasses are on his chin. <laughs> how else is he supposed to hold them things up, man? See how tiny the top of his head is? Yeah. That is beautiful, though. We have the crimson chin figure. Okay, so we have all those guys loaded right there. The ones that I'm gonna have to take out, I just cannot control myself. I'm gonna have to take out the cat dog one. I'm gonna have to take out the crimson chin one. I'm gonna have to take out the Gary. Where'd Gary go? The Gary one. And I'm gonna have to take out this SpongeBob bobbler of him dancing. Yeah, that's too good. <laughs> and then the rest of them, I will maybe at some to take them out, but these ones, I wanna make sure that we keep them in good shape here and preserve them for the collection but i just can't control myself like i said on those ones those have to be in the background here and then we have a bouncy ball here as well too it's from 2006 oh should i open it or keep it sealed is it overseas yeah what is the language on the back man the language on the back looks like freaking german or something i'm not even sure you guys can let us know should we open it or keep it sealed you think uh do you think the design's worth it or do you think the package is worth it honestly the one that i would want the most from this is the flying dutchman and i think that's the same brand i think we keep it sealed just because that's the one i want the most anyway and we already have that one now yeah that makes sense all right just so we're gonna keep case, this you know? one sealed in the collection to preserve at least one here in the cavern for reference but if i ever stumble upon another one then maybe we'll open up this one. Oh my goodness look at this whoa <laughs> Pass of the West. Yes, we got good old SpongeBuck on there. That is beautiful. And thank you guys so much again. This whole package has been so incredible to go through and to say a whirlwind of a nostalgia for me as well because I did have the Pass of the West macaroni and cheese. I remember I ate it and you know, this is way before collecting. So of course I didn't keep the box, but I actually had the Pass of the West one and I had the original one. I never had like the Blue Ocean one or some of the other ones like that, but I did have the Pass of the West one. In particular, I remember this box. And it's crazy you have the actual old school SpongeBob logo. Even though this is 2007 when they were kind of transitioning the logos as well. So it's kind of wild that you actually get that old school logo on there. And this is the box. No mac and cheese in there, but that is A-OK. -okay. We are definitely going to be putting this in the Galay Grub. I have no clue how you guys found it, but thank you so much for sending it over. And as with every fan mail video, thank you, 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 thank you for supporting what we do here. The series where I say thank you a billion times there's nothing else I could just say besides thank you guys so much for being so kind and such amazing people. Okay, next up here, we've got a Reptar Soda. Ooh. Yes, we have a new Reptar to add into the collection back here. Those but, are so hard to find, man. I know. I, there's only 9,500 pieces. Summer convention exclusive here. Ooh. I don't care which one it is, if it's the chase, not the chase. I'm just happy that we get to add one back here into the background, and I'll have to get the other one some other way. But let's check it out. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. Okay, so it is a Reptar. I don't know if you would be a chase bone on there. Either one out of 8,000. That is so, like, such a small number in terms of, like, Funko sodas. Some of them can be, like, 30,000. So that's unreal how small the line this was. And we have the Reptar. It's still sealed, but this is, again, one of those situations where I cannot, you know, we have all the Reptars on display, so I cannot leave this one in here. Let's take a look. Oh, my goodness, dude. Ooh. That is such a fun-looking Reptar. Like, you know, that's one of my favorite things about keeping all the reptiles out of the boxes and seeing all the different designs that we have up there. It's like incredible how they're able to make so many different unique reptiles. And since he is just kind of a classical dinosaur, he just molds into a figure so well. So we have the reptile and his container right there. I will be putting the reptile on display for sure back here with all the other reptiles that we have growing back there. And this one, the container, we'll be putting this in the bowl to make sure we keep it in 
in good shape. Next up here, we have a little brown bag, but I presume it's maybe a watch. It says Jimmy Neutron Ooh. on it. So let's take a look. Oh Ooh. my goodness. Are those like 3D glasses? Yeah, Jimmy Neutron 3D glasses. This is amazing. I, you know how much I love 3D glasses. We have a little collection here of 3D glasses. Oh my God. You've got so much more depth to you. <laughs> I, I can just see the ins and outs of the complexity of the man that is Mitchell. That is amazing though. I don't even think it came with this watch. It says only for chroma depth 3D images, but I mean the images, Mitchell must be a chroma depth. And then we have the Jimmy Neutron watch. That is wow. such a fun watch, man. 2005, you've got like Jimmy Spaceship. We have the blueprint of Jimmy Spaceship here going through the whole thing. That is incredible. Let's see what the next item is here. Still on Jimmy Neutron, we got two Jimmy Neutron notebooks here. I kind of want to open one up, so we'll keep this one sealed because this one has the actual little tab here. I do want to open one up because I genuinely, if you guys have seen any of my videos where I do like Spongebob appearances in different shows, we do a video game video, any of the videos where I'm like sitting down, I'm talking directly to you guys about some kind of Nickelodeon lore or fandom type conversation, I use these notebooks so this will not go unused and it'll be even more fun to do it on an old school Jimmy Neutron notebook. So let's open one up. Dude, look at the hollow effect what on it. The heck, I didn't even see that on the other one. Yeah, that's why I wanted to open it to see like the depth to it too so we can actually get a good visual on everything and then the notebook paper is like a, what is that, like a nucleus? Or, well, I guess it's probably a neutron, huh? Yeah, <laughs> a neutron would make sense. <laughs> that is so fun. Okay, next up, let's see it. We've got, oh my goodness. We got Grandpappy Redbeard and also Perch Perkins. On the back here, you have two variations of them. You have the, the more gray Perch Perkins, and then you have the more orange Perch Perkins here. That is so cool, though, that they actually have both of them on there. This whole line is awesome, but I think these are definitely the coolest because they're the most unique, you know? It's interesting. You can take their parts apart, it says. Mix, yeah, kind of mix species. Yeah, mix and match them. I would love to get Perch Perkins' head and put it in Sandy's body because we got like space Perch Perkins. Yeah. <laughs> Next up here, looks like we got another one of these guys here. Another watch, maybe? Oh, there's two. There's two, so maybe I can wear one. <laughs> It kind of fits with my shirt today, huh? Yeah, the blue. Yeah, and it's got like the blueprint like style with my uh, gur here. That is awesome. And thank you guys so much for sending the second one because I was literally, literally, we opened that one. I'm like, ah, oh, I'd love to just wear this watch. Okay, next up here, let's check it out. Oh, yes. We have the what golden the coin. So this, we can definitely add into our gold section back here in the back of the room because then we have all the gold SpongeBob. This actually came with the Cosmic Shake video game the collector's edition you can only get at Walmart came with this coin. It says drop on the deck and flop like a fish. This is perfect because I actually have the version of the game that comes with this coin too, but it's still sealed. If I ever open that one up, I can use that coin for coin toss flips. Oh, you know, we have to yeah. break the tie on something. We'll use the golden SpongeBob collectible coin for that. Thank you guys so much. This is so cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed Cosmic Shake because obviously I had to have opened it. Next up, we have some SpongeBob tennis balls. You got SpongeBob looking adorable in his tennis outfit. We have him adorably on top of the tennis ball and the bottom of the tennis ball as well. You know what's crazy? I don't remember the packaging 100%, but I know I gave you that tennis ball a long, yeah. long time ago. Yeah, Mitchell actually gave me the physical tennis ball, which I think we have somewhere in the vault. That's crazy, I had a green and white label. Yeah, you had a green and white label SpongeBob ball. It was a people found in your house, right? It's been in my toy box, yeah. <laughs> so somehow you ended up with the SpongeBob tennis ball. Did you play tennis? <laughs> no, I don't even know why I had it. <laughs> Somehow Mitchell got this tennis ball. So we already have one out of the packaging. We're gonna keep this one just like this. And what I love about it too, it's also got the Just Play logo on it. So we have the Nick Let's Just Play logo here. And of course, we're always repping the Let's Just Play hour. Ooh. Ooh. Gold. We have a golden 30th anniversary Reptar pin here. I don't know, that should go with like, I guess, I guess if we only have right now is these Nickelodeon gold figures they released for the Nickelodeon gold section. I think we're getting closer to where we could have like a Nickelodeon gold section. So we're getting there for sure. And then we have some SpongeBob Jelly Buddies, but where are these from? I have no clue again. Jelly Buddies. This has to be Italy too, maybe? It's from the same company as the other one that was from Italy, so I think it's gotta be Italy. I have to open one. I have to. Open this this one, one feels one. really small. I feel like you should open this one then. <laughs> All right. Since it's bigger, it's probably gonna be Patrick. Let's do it. Ooh. 2013 from Italy. 
Who do we have here? Oh, oh, it's a pirate SpongeBob. I was like, I hope that it's like not just a regular SpongeBob that we open, but it is a pirate SpongeBob on top of that to make it even cooler. And then it has cards, like you said, that of course we are gonna add into the card binder. Or it looks like it's just kind of like a little, like a little manual. Oh, wait a minute, dude. So it has advertisement for the Plankton's Robotic Revenge. And then you have the set list. Medusa's Jellyfish. Medusa, that's so cool. That's a cool name. Look at that. Larry. Oh my god. I don't need another washing machine. <laughs> what the heck, dude? Honestly, though, of all the ones in this list, that's the one I would have wanted the most. Definitely the coolest. That is wild that we got that one pulled. If I'm feeling on this one, oh, that's Squiddy all day. Go ahead and fill that. That's Squidward for days. Oh, and, yeah, the skinniness of it. And by golly, we got Gummy Italy Squidward doing the thing. Look at him. He's doing the thing in Italy. <laughs> All right, amazing. I love, love, love this stuff from other places because it's like we would never see this here. Never. Next up, a new one to the food collection. Ooh. We have the peanut butter milk chocolate SpongeBob chocolate bars. Man, those 80, things look so good. 80 calories each, and they're literally like little Reese's cups. And they chose Mr. Krabs, SpongeBob, and Patrick for the actual like shapes of them. That's very rare that you ever see Mr. Krabs take the place of like where Squidward, Gary, or like Sandy might be. Like to get through three and one of them be Mr. Krabs, a very odd scenario. And this is by Frankfurt's Candy too, so definitely an American product from 2010. An amazing new addition to the Galay Grow to be able to archive this one and keep track of this one is just a, a piece of history from the yellow era of foods. Ooh, Ooh. look at this. This is amazing. We do not have a this either. A blister of it? Yes, so this is the Nicktoons trading card game. We have the booster box up there, you guys can see. But we did not have a blister variation in the collection. This is really cool because I've never gotten to see how the artwork on this one looks. You have the big three on there, and then you also got Auto Rocket, which is similar to the actual booster box. But the packaging on blisters is just amazing because you literally get a little bit of everything, you know? You get the main package art itself, and then a slight variant on it in the background as well, too. Good old upper deck. Yeah, right? I mean, it's crazy to see like the blister variant of this because the branding is just like so engraved in my brain for the booster yeah, box. So like seeing this version is really unique. But thank you guys so much for sending that in. But not just that, there's some more stuff in here we got. We have a Happy Meal for our Bobble Plunge. Where is this from? Italy? France. Yes, French. So we have Boule Vac Bon Le Plunge. <laughs> Bob Le Plunge. So this is a French box. Like, what is this even referencing to? The image is just like basic SpongeBob. I mean, I think it would have just been like some kind of toy line they probably had at that time. But nonetheless, this is the French variation of the box. So it could also be a Canadian one too, because typically in Quebec, they have to make it in English and French. But since there's not English on there as well, the only thing in English is the Happy Meal. I do believe it is from actual like the Europe French. So very, very cool. Then we have right here another, oh, oh my goodness. This is from the SpongeBob mail pants Ooh. set. We have one of these. It's the SpongeBob one I showed you before, but oh, we yeah. did not another have this one. one. This one's way cooler than the one we have. This one has got everybody on it. The one we have just has SpongeBob on it. If I were to send somebody a postcard, of the two, I would have picked this one. And then on the back, you even have the little floral pattern. You have the stamp right there. We need to get those kind of stamps. I okay. know, I wonder if they have those stamps. They had to have, I, I gotta look out for those too. These Spongebob mail pants line though for the time where Spongebob took over the mailboxes. <laughs> Then over here, we have a McDonald's like gift card. This one's for McDonald's China, it looks what? like. That is incredible. Like, where do you guys find this there? stuff? Yeah, inside there's a card. Whoa. A McDonald's maybe gift card for China? It's got 500 yen on it. I don't even know how much 500 yen is, but. It's like five bucks. Well, but hey, man, that's enough to get a Chinese Big Mac. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. So, this is definitely getting preserved as well, along with different Fairly Odd Parents packs. And it looks like we have one of every pack on. So again, we'll be keeping these ones sealed too. We have oh, they the, can't be consistent at least. Yeah, we have the off-colored version of Cosmo and Wanda that we saw in the Panini set. But since it's one of each pack art, we're definitely gonna keep these ones sealed just like that. Okay, so let's put this all back inside of this protector here because he did a perfect job of making sure everything was protected. Thank you guys so much for taking that extra time to make sure everything got here safely because at the end of the day, you know, preservation is my number one priority. So when it gets here in good shape, it's good because now it's all on me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> to make sure it stays in good shape. Thank you so much. Okay, next up, let's take a look. We have a deck of cards here. So these are from the overseas SpongeBob card game. It looks like these are all their extras. So let's see 
see which ones we have here. Maybe there's some that we don't already have. Oh, I think this might be another set because we have Larry here. Oh, Ooh. wow. That is amazing. Look at SpongeBob. He's rich. <laughs> But dude, he's not just rich, he's wearing his Kyrie Irving shoes. That is the sickest card ever, because not only is he flexing out, but he's actually canonically flexing out that is with insane. a licensed product. Then we got Plankton with the bucket hat. We got oh Sandy, gosh. Gangsta Sandy here too. Oh my goodness, we have the Hiccup card right here as well. Then we have the- What the heck are these? These, these are, are incredible. Look at all of them are just unreal. You have the Jellyfish with Patrick and SpongeBob. We have to sleeve all of these bad boys up. So we can add them to the card collection. The fun in the corner. <laughs> yeah, the F-U-N down there in the back. We have the pilot episode, him lifting the actual weights. Grandma's cookies, it looks like. We got Patrick, Mrs. Puff. Oh, the pilot help wanted anchovies. The first ever incidentals to appear in SpongeBob. We have Larry. The judge. We have the judge. Oh my gosh. Wow. That one is amazing. We have one of the gross ups actually made into a full profile card. Mr. Krabs. Of course with money. <laughs> I love this one. We have the employee of the month cake here. The ice cream card. The energy card. And then we have some of the movie scene cards too it looks like. These are beautiful. And we have to take a look here and see which ones these ones we don't have. Because I'm not sure if these are from the same series that we are working on or if it's for another series because these are some of these I feel like I've never seen before though. So I sleeved him up. Larry you can finally go with the crew. So there we have all the character profile cards here for the Bobby card trading card game. If you guys haven't seen this video that'll be on screen so you guys can go check it out. Just type in Spongebob Bobby cards on the channel. It'll come up or just look down the channel vein. Is that thumbnail. But we also have all these cards that are new. This is new. This is new. This is for another series that we're going to be opening up soon on this channel. So if we don't have any of these cards we can get pulled we'll have the ones from Don and T-Dog that we can check out and this card right here is super special so from time to time in these series you'll get very very like one out of a hundred cards so we have this one right here which is an actual film reel from the Spongebob movie this was given to us thanks to an awesome member of the rep pack named Patriot but this one right here is one out of 99 too so these are both Ooh. one out of 99 so this must be like another really 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 rare like low pull rate card from another series. So one out of 99, number 62, Plankton. I don't think it goes to this set, so we're gonna put it with the cards from the other set, but I did wanna share with you guys that one is particularly awesome. Okay, so these cards, we were missing some of these too, so we have this one right here. We needed that one as well. This is from Sponge Out of Water. Then we have number eight, which goes right here, so that's another page done. We needed 13. You little squiddy. You guys are amazing. We are almost- Now that's all two pages done. That's almost done. What do we need here? Maybe 20 Eight. We have a 28 right there. 33. We have a 33. 30. They had to have like paused the video. Yeah. <laughs> like known which ones we were missing. You guys are so, so thoughtful. Thank you again. Like I said, the community wouldn't be the same without you. Amazing members of the Rep Pack. Don and T-Dog are absolutely kings and queens of this community. Thank you guys so much. 30. So for the main set, we only need number 43 right here. That is incredible. And then we will have the entire main series here done besides like the spectacularly rare extra cards. Like these ones right here, we needed these two. So these are all going in here as well. Don't know how many are in this set, I think. We were at 27 though on the last one. So there's probably, could be 30 or About so. 30 of them. So they're extremely rare. Like, you know, being able to complete this whole line could be not next to impossible, but without buying like probably a hundred boxes, next to impossible. Because even if you get 30 boxes, you're not guaranteed to get 30 different cards. So that could be a tough one to actually get. But nonetheless, that is still incredible. And then we also have the Mr. Krabs card that goes with this set right here with the Mermaid Man. So we'll have to get more space here because I didn't even know how much further we were going to get on this binder because we have over here now, these are actually some of the uh, Tazos, I believe. So Not that to mention goes that there's like these little side character pixel cards. There's a lot of you know miscellaneously rare cards in this series. So it's a tough set to complete, but being able to complete the main set, I think is the priority. And then being able to get the bonus cards is just kind of like a, an extra, you know? Yeah. So amazing. And like I said, we'll keep these ones to the side for when we open up that next box. Oh my gosh. Whoa. We got Rev Up Auto Rocket. That is beautiful. And you guys don't know, Don the Whale, our man Don is a 
huge fan of rocket power. This is a beautiful piece here and we're definitely gonna have to find an awesome place to put Otto because of the crew there for sure, we have Twister, Reggie, and also Otto. Otto was always the one that I thought was the sickest as a kid. I really wanna get this guy right here. I've been talking to Mitchell about getting this one right here, the Madtown Skate Park as well. So at least we could check off one of the three racers here once we get Madtown as well. But this is incredible and thank you so much. Coming from the rocket power legend himself, Don the Whale. Love that like a lot of the Nickelodeon products from back then have like that really cool orange like wave under it. Yeah, that's true. It, yeah, you're right. A lot of the green label SpongeBob products, more commonly, like if you look at the, for example, SpongeBob 3-pack, all, all those green label products, they have that orange wave in the bottom. That's a good note, Mitchell. It almost sounds like we've been working on something like that in the background to make that notable. Okay, so keeping it going here, next up, we have the iCarly keyboard Whoa, here. I didn't, like I didn't even know they made this kind of stuff for you iCarly. You know what, dude? I think like this item is like what sealed the deal for me. In the vault, I have a surprisingly decent sized iCarly collection that's kind of built up over time. Some of it we never even had a chance to feature on the channel before. If you guys would want to see an iCarly collection video, let me know, but I do not have this keyboard that is beautifully well crafted. Like I love the aesthetic along the entire thing. You know, like Zoe 101 and iCarly had like such a good like aesthetic to everything going on, but I feel like iCarly did it the best because it kind of had like that early digital era vibe to it. Yeah. Has 32 instrumental sounds, 10 demos, 20 rhythms, 10 drum sounds, built-in sound effects, record and playback features for songwriting so you can record voice and also like, you know, play the piano to record and make a song. And built-in speakers. Is Mitchell got it working? Oh man, you're so good at playing. <laughs> That is so much fun. So if you guys want to see me do an iCarly collection tour, let me know. And thank you guys so much for sending this in. This is literally the, one of the coolest things I've ever seen when it comes to iCarly merchandise. Okay, and then next up we have Cosmo and Wanda Ooh, salt and pepper, pepper shakers. And I wish I had one of these at my house. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. I've been wanting these two at Box Lunch. They released a while ago. They released the salt, pepper, and paprika. Yeah. Which we have in the kitchen. And now we got Cosmo and Wanda. Wanda. But now we have the Cosmo and Wanda salt and pepper shake, which they were just made for this. Like box lunch doesn't make like a bunch of items like this. Just like everyday household items like Cosmo and Wanda face towels, Cosmo and Wanda toothbrushes. I'll have to step outside the bathroom, but that's just what I'm thinking of right now. Cosmo and Wanda plate sets. You name it, I would pick it up. But thankfully, I, I went to go pick these up in one of our box lunch videos. They didn't have it in store. So the fact that we got them now, thanks to Don and T-Dog, is amazing. Thank you guys so much. I am definitely going to be hiding these in the background somewhere for sure oh my goodness what I think we're gonna have another background classic something that is gonna live in the background absolutely without a doubt when you see what this is you are I not just, just see Rugrats what you is are it not going to believe what I think is in here this is a Reptar item that is unreal I'm so excited this is intense whoa yes okay careful 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 what the this, heck this is a Reptar on ice musical display so so this has Stu on there, of course, going on the actual ice to try to get Tommy. But look at this beauty, dude. It's like a destroyed city on the bottom. That is so <laughs> cool. And then it has like this like awesome like power wires coming through. And then you've got Bill, Lil, and also Chucky for the 10th anniversary to commemorate one of the most awesome episodes of Rugrats here. Why is there a baby? on the ice. Somebody call their mom. And then if we turn it on. Oh my gosh, it still spins. Yes. Dude. My heart, it's melting just like the ice. It's the song from the episode too. That is so incredible. I feel like we're getting serenaded here. I know. Don and T-Dog, you guys have truly touched my heart with an unbelievable warmth. Thank you so much to you and your family. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you guys so much. Every single thing in this was so curated and so thoughtful. And I have nothing but love and appreciation for you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being the wonderful people that you are. I'm sorry if I'm saying thank you too many times in this video. I'm I'm just so grateful and I want to make sure that gets conveyed to Don and T-Dog. And I know this music is making it <laughs> way more dramatic. I was like, this song is making this sad. <laughs> but it's for the dramatic effect, the music is there. Man, I don't even know where, get these turtles out of here. That's gotta go somewhere like central, right here somewhere. We'll have to reorganize things a little bit here, but that is definitely going in the background. That is unbelievably 
Sweet. Okay, the next up here, it is not stop with the uh, awesomeness. Ooh. We have a wild thornberries bot. I can't and even look see. Look at that. Look at the brand. Oh, yeah, you're right. With the orange wave on the bottom here. Brand synchronicity. <laughs> I have no clue what it even looks like yet. I haven't even got to see it. All I, I see just... is uh, it looks like a polar bear. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. That is awesome. And they're off. Debbie and Donnie are sledding into the Arctic with two new friends, a polar bear and her cubs. So it's got a Debbie and Donnie pack there. Dude, Debbie is like unbelievably detailed, right? Like every little wrinkle in her sweater, the fur, yeah. Like she looks her better hair. than the she looks better than the cartoon. Yeah, <laughs> actually. <laughs> like the molding is beautiful. And then you've got Donnie over there, the polar bears, everything is still in its original place too. Nothing's broken off. And I love that pink color scheme on it, that pink, like tropical, like I almost want to say like just kind of like an exotic. Almost like look. a like a safari or something, yeah. Yeah, safari is a good word, that exotic look to it and every single one had to have a color if you think about it like you know the rugrats they kind of dominated like that light blue camouflage look you know and then as rugrats products started to fade away we had fairly odd parents that has that like dark dark blue you know you saw also over here on the uh snow globe and then of course with spongebob you have the green label so it had to stand out within its line of nickelodeon products and the thing to kind of put nickelodeon's products together is that orange line there but man i am really going to be in the look out for more wild Thornberry's products. You've casted a stone into the lake and now you create a wave where if you guys want to see more wild Thornberry's videos, I might be picking up some wild Thornberry stuff in the future. Let's see what else we have next in the box. So it came in this box here. Very, very Ooh, small box. Promo. I'm interested. It says promo on it. I'm interested to see what we have inside here. Being careful here, trying to unwrap Ooh, it. No you can way. see who we got in there. We got Patrick. Oh my. Look at his belly. Look at his little belly <laughs> rocking around. Dude. That is beautiful. He's shaking it. He's <laughs> shaking it. This is though. This I'm not is, ugly. Do you know what this is? It's actually not to go with that one over there. Oh, I thought they look so like good though. Like I thought that was that. It does look similar, but no. So this over here, the fairly odd parents. You know, those are employee only. Oh, is, is that what this is? This is for the SpongeBob cruise. I don't know what the situation or what these were to celebrate. Maybe the 10 year anniversary is what I'm thinking. But this was gifted, and one of the ways you could tell if something is a sometimes if it doesn't have a trademarking or if it doesn't have a like a created by Steven Hillenburg little note on it it doesn't mean that it's not licensed but in very rare circumstances you'll see there is no trademarking on this anywhere no created by Steven Hillenburg which by law they have to put on every single product but because this one was not for profit and was an in-house product there is no like licensing or branding trademarking to be seen he looks so adorable and also clean and I think even though he's not from the same set he looks Looks kind of like he would work in really well there. He gives we, me like, yeah, he gives me like season one, season two vibes too. Kind yeah, of like that lighter in, pink. He fits in perfect, and I think most people who just click on the channel, seeing it in the background, would think it's the same set, you know? Yeah, they look, they work great. We have to be on the lookout though, and hopefully one day we can get the rest of them in this set. But either way, this is an amazing piece here. I just love shaking his belly. Yeah, <laughs> it is so adorable. Thank you so much, Don and T Dog. This is an incredible piece, and again, as with the the music box here, a true collection classic. Something we will be grabbing here from the background for years to come, whether it be for reference, to use it as an example for something else. I can't wait to label it up for you guys. But we have another package here that's bubble wrapped up. I'm gonna carry it out so that way we can slowly get it out here. Let's take a look. Okay, so I got the whole stack out. So you know how we talked about these guys, these little, uh, you know, coin push machines? Yeah, the little 50 cents. So do you remember when you would put the coins in, you were like hoping for a certain one, and the one that you would be hoping for was usually on a display piece itself and that would let you know what the options were of what you could possibly get this is those little displays no way and there's at least one or two of them here for sure we have this one from the yellow label era here from Dang. 2012 i didn't even know that they had these in 2012 you know no i mean when did we ever go to stores and stuff and just like look for this anymore you know yeah because like i was like 16 17 and i definitely would have put a couple quarters in had i seen it a couple bucks yeah, probably about a couple of tw uh, 20 you know, <laughs> trying to get the whole set. But I never saw things at like Walmart, Target, stuff like that when I was at, you know, 16, 17. So the fact that they had these in 
2012 is actually really cool. My favorite is this one. <laughs> I love it, this little sweater or a sleeping bag. <laughs> That's literally me when I want to go in the backyard in the winter, but I also just don't want to be cold. I just zip those strings tight as you can. And then I also love these Patrick in the barrel here. Yeah. <laughs> but an adorable, awesome set. They collect all eight. But that's not the only one. There's also this one Ooh. from the green and white label era. So this must be like maybe 2004 to 2006. Oh my gosh, the Gary. <laughs> Look at the Patrick. <laughs> Oh, he's, he's ripped. So is SpongeBob. <laughs> he's got like the ultimate like ex-military, ex-fireman dad bod. <laughs> <laughs> and then right here we have the Gary with his shoes are looking cool. We have the SpongeBob surfing with on the waffles box. We have the original first appearance plankton here with the spider patty. And then you also have the Zen Master SpongeBob. You got Sandy. These are so freaking cute. And this is series two. Dang, so there's a series one out there? Presumably. And thank you guys so much for sending that in. The Rocket Power! <laughs> I'm trying to not look at the next one. We have the Rocket Power set up here. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. Thank you guys so much. We have Twister, Otto, Sam, and Reggie Rocket here. And look how Reggie's sunglasses got me some big sunglasses that fit on that damn helmet. That is a really big head, I guess. <laughs> those are giant sunglasses. You could say, oh, they're goggles, but no, we see her wear those. Those are sunglasses. I don't know how. Maybe they're goggles, but I'm pretty sure they're sunglasses we've seen her wear. So that's a big head or big helmet or big sunglasses. One of them, all three of them could be big. I hope we can get his helmet at Sam's. Yeah, Sam's helmet would be probably Probably the coolest to get. He's definitely got the coolest of the crews. Otto's is the most classic. And Twister's is dope too. The wings on here. Then Reggie's is awesome because you got them big sunglasses to come with it. And you can see here, these are actual stampers. Here's the different stamp designs that they would actually make. We'll have to save this for an archive video where we go through all the stamps and the details about them. But the thing is, is that like, I think SpongeBob has a stamper set just like this. It's out green label, of course. But this one's so cool because like, we just don't see rocket power stuff all the time, you know? Yeah, like, a lot of the 90s Nickelodeon stuff, really, except for Rugrats. Well, because the thing is, like, for Wild Thornberry's Rocket Power, people did not keep them in the boxes as often. And not just that, they didn't make them to the same quantities as SpongeBob. Like, if they made the stamper for SpongeBob, I'm, I don't know for a fact, but I would be willing to bet they made at least twice as many for the SpongeBob line as they did for this line, just based on what they thought was going to sell better, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. So an incredible piece, and from the Rocket Power King himself, thank you so much, Don the Whale. Okay, oh man, dude, it just keeps getting crazier. So I'm gonna see if you know what this is without me even opening it. This is unreal. Thank you guys so much. This is beautiful. Oh, it looks it looks familiar. Maybe this side will help you. Oh, remember this guy? Yeah, it looks like the uh, like the like the Kellogg's or something or cereal. It's from General Meal. So these guys we have right back here in the Galay Grub. For example, this guy right here, these were actually in General Meal cereal that you could have got back in the day. It came with some of the cereals. So these boxes, this one in particular, a lot of times what they would do in order to send grocery store owners or even McDonald's owners in cases, when they get the new toys on the menu, you guys go pick up and they have like, you know, eight new toys, you can ask for which one or just get one randomly in your Happy Meal. Or when you go to the store and sometimes you go to some stores and they have the Cocoa Puffs that have a certain product in them or a PC game, whatever it may be. But then you go to another grocery store and they don't have them. And that's because they actually had to be reached out to by the companies in corporation with the food company to get them on the shelves. They were, you know, of course you can get your general Lucky Charms all the time, but if you wanna have these ones that come with a toy, they would send out these guides to show you what the product looked like, to see if it would increase sales or get more people in the store to where you could possibly sell them for a slightly increased price or even take a little bit of a loss on them just to make your customers happy and bring more people in. So this is one of those promotional kits they would have sent to Kellogg. Boom. Whoa. There we have it. Soaking up summer. And you can see right here it actually has the ship window of like, you know, when you have to get your order in by so they can ship it out to you. You have the trade activation. Has offers right here. It has promotional overview talking about it and which cereals they'll be sending you with the packaging in it. You know, like most of these probably came from Cinnamon Toast. Cocoa <laughs> yeah. Bottles, I Crick. was just thinking that of like Probably of all these ones that are out there in the public now that were released, I'd say probably like 50% came from Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought there was a window protecting You can actually touch the physical figures here too. They're actually just kind of right in there. That is so awesome and such a 
an incredible piece to be able to have for reference too. And I can't wait to label this on. And thank you so much, Don and T-Dog. And make sure you guys show them some love down below in the comments. Because this is an item as well as many of these things we'll be using for years and years and years to come in order to reference. No longer will I be reaching back there to grab this to refer to this series when we have the entire set and a smorgasbord right here. And these type of items are not easy to come by or to acquire. So thank you so much to Don and T-Dog for that love and that support coming here to the cavern for us to be able to archive and do the things that we're doing. And that does not go unnoticed, especially on somebody like me who collects this stuff. This is a true grail piece of thank you. And on that same note, this is another one here. You can see the General Ooh. Mills logo here. I'm just curious what set, what series of General Mills toys is in here. Let's check know, it out. Oh, Ooh. this one is sick. This is the water squirters. So these are actual water squirter toys oh, or milk squirters. And look, milk it's, squirters. it's Squidward promotionally doing the thing. <laughs> you got a little bit of everybody. There you got two SpongeBob, so nobody's had. They can at least get one SpongeBob. Then over here, you have even more information here. So you have the big G is partnering with SpongeBob SquarePants and his friend of the to bring one of the top animated programs to the cereal aisle. And it says offers and it has, you know, collectible SpongeBob water squirtle in every box. And it says support and it has TV tag when you can get the TV again, when the ad came out, ship window, all that stuff. And this has got some different cereals on there. No more Cinnamon Toast Crunch, but they got tricks on there and Reese's Puff, Reese's Puff, peanut butter chocolate flavor. That is an incredible box set there. And again, thank you so much. And that is the final item there. But just thank you so much for everything you guys sent in. And thank you so much to all of you beautiful people as well. The Comfort Cartoons channel is continuing to grow and I can't believe it. And I feel so blessed to be able to do something that I love so much. I get goosebumps all the time because I just think it's so unreal that I get to connect with so many amazing people like you guys. And we can all have this comfort zone, the Comfort Cartoon channel, this safe place we can all go to kind of get outside of the crazy world that's going on out there and focus on the things that we love and some the simpler aspects of life there's no way i would be able to do all the things that we do show all the things that we get to show or even be able to afford to do some of the stuff that we do if it wasn't for you beautiful people so thank you so much for spreading the love and sharing stuff here with the cavern that we can feature to share with all the people here in the community as well and i just feel so grateful to be a part of it and like i said this channel from the start was just a passion driven part project for me i really didn't care how big or small the channel got as long as i was able to connect with people with like minds like myself and be able to connect with other people that love the same stuff that we do from our childhood even till now. So thank you so much for being a part of that. Thank you so much to Don and T-Dog for sharing all these items so we can actually share them with you guys. And like I said, we're gonna be labeling all these things up so we can archive them here in the collection. And these are some things we'll be using for years and years and years for references and I'll always have their names tied to it because I'm so grateful that we now have access to be able to show and feature any of this stuff. So with every video, I always say, Thank you guys, but thank you, thank you, thank you truly from the bottom of my heart for being the incredible individuals you are. So on that note, please guys, show Don and T-Dog some love down below. We would not be able to share any of this stuff if it wasn't for them. And on every fan mail video, as I always say, whenever we open up a package, no matter how big, no matter how small, make sure you show them some love in the comments down below because they're members of the rep pack just like you that are sending stuff in so that we can do these fan mail videos and share them with you guys as well too. And it would not be a possible series if it wasn't for them. I'm sure so many people had unlocked memories seeing this auto rocket here, seeing some of these toys you may have had growing up. And that was not from me. That was from Don and T-Dog sending that in. I'm just here to kind of convey everything that we're going through. So this series is really sourced by you guys. So thank you so much again and make sure you guys show them some love. But without any further ado, stick around. Of course, we have, we got a lot of labeling to do. Oh yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of labeling to do. So we gotta do that. Stick around, we're gonna add some of this stuff to the collection. But before that, you guys know the drill. Scan it! And for Cosmo and Wanda, I added them right here on top of the Panini card game. They look adorable and they fit in perfectly with the rest of the shelf. And as I always say when it comes to the cavern, it's about just getting a little bit of representation. So this is mostly just for the filming aspect of it. We have the SpongeBob belly washer right there. The Patrick belly washer is gonna be going inside of the SpongeBob and Nickelodeon food related archive. But we have that one there to kind of represent belly washers as a whole. So for the Reptars, we're kind of getting started on our second little road here, which I love. So we have the so 
Proto Reptar. He's pretty tall, so I'm gonna put him here in the back. And I'm actually gonna take this other, or you know what? I'm gonna take the Stamper one here. So you can keep kind of the Funko ones together for right now. And I'm gonna put the Stamper one over here because it kind of hides in perfectly this little space. So we can add our second row. And as we get bigger ones, we'll put the bigger ones in the back, smaller ones up in the front so we can see them as much as possible. Okay, so now let's do the book. Let's add on to these guys. So we have, right now we have the Sponge in Space. We have the Welcome to Camp Coral. And brand new to the little golden book section, we have Mr. Fancy Pants. For that Patrick is everything. SpongeBob Exposed. This will be going in the library soon, but I'm actually gonna read through this entire book before I put it into the actual library itself. Now we have a stack of other SpongeBob books here. We are keeping two of this one right here because I did notice they are different versions of the same book. So it does count as two separate books. You can see right here. This one was distributed by Simon Says. This one was distributed by Scholastic. So they technically are separate books. So I wanted to put them both in there, but let's see where they fit in here. So right here we have a bunch of different softback like SpongeBob books. So all of these fit in perfectly here as well. It's a nice little stack we got to add in there. So thank you guys so much. And as far as I can tell, I don't think any of those were duplicates based off my memory. But when we reorganize the library someday, I'm sure we'll find a couple duplicates here and there. But from memory, none of those ones we just added were duplicates. And for a little update, these were some books that we needed to add to the collection before, but I needed to clean them. So this whole little stack here, you can expect to see added into the SpongeBob collection as well. Okay, so for the Jimmy Neutron book, of course you have it labeled. I love the cover on this one. We're gonna add it right over here. It just barely, literally barely fits into the shelf here, you can see. And we did have the Rugrats storybook in the actual collection, but if you ask me, I think like based off the corners here, you can see, I think this one's a little bit better shape. And at the end of the day, this is all about preservation. So I'm gonna take this one out and this one's going in. And the Rocket Power is starting off our next little cabinet right here, Rocket Power, Hey Arnold, and Two Wild Thornberries. They're starting this section off here. And like I said, if we continue to add more and more space, we're gonna have to get another bookshelf on top, but I just wanna see how big we can make the Nickelodeon Library with new books. Daggett and his PJs is going right in here with the other Daggett that we have here in the collection. From time to time, we'll put books on display right here. You know, we have the cash register book over here too. And this is one I definitely wanted to put up there. I just love the packaging on it. So for right now, we're gonna put this one right over here. I think it fits good with the Nickelodeon dictionary. Now I went ahead and added in this little Nicktoons blister here because there's like this blank space down here anyway, and you guys know how much I hate blank spaces. So we're gonna go ahead and cover that little spot up with the Nicktoons blister, similar to how we did the Fairly Odd Parents GBA games. And we have this one right here to kind of go with it, so it blends in well. And if I ever open up that Danny, I think I'm gonna put him right here on top of the Jimmy Neutron film reel. I think he would fit in perfectly here. So typically I would not open something like this up, but we do have one of the 30th anniversary Reptar pins in the collection. But now's my opportunity to finally put one on our pin board here. Typically I do do these random, but I kind of think this one just fits in perfectly right here. So I'm gonna add in the gold Reptar there. Okay, and then right here we have the SpongeBob ice cream we also have the Patrick one. I'm gonna kind of put this one right here, like Patrick looking at this one. Again, not as random as we typically would do it, but I just think those ones look really, really cool together. So I wanna kind of, you know, they're random, but every now and then I will place some just kind of a little bit uh, but strategically. But for the most part, as you go further and further down, I'm gonna do random. Okay, so you can see all the reptars I've started to start putting down here around this shelf. I think it looks awesome to utilize, you know, the side of the shelf here even. But right here we have the Jimmy Newton Neutron watch. We had two of them. I wanted to put one of them on display. So as you're working your way down here, you know, we don't have a lot of, if we have a rocket power watch, something rocket power theme, we'll probably put it here or something Ren and Stimpy maybe, and then bring the watch down. But for right now, I wanted to put this watch here. It's kind of like, yeah, it kind of counters really well with this one over here, the, the Reptar watch. Danny is going to go into the vault until I can decide whether I want to open it up or not. Cause I just can't get him to go up there in the actual top chamber. But if anything, I think I could just end up opening him up one day. Cause I think it would be awesome just to have him standing over there. The iCarly 48 key keyboard is going into the vault with the rest of the iCarly collection that is continuing to build. And like I said, we might do a whole video on the iCarly collection. And for the Obelina flashlight, I think it fits in right here and just kind of adds a little bit more diversity into the background as well. Okay, so for the Rocket Power Stamper, I put that right over here. You can actually see it underneath here. And you'll also notice I put in this giant size Rugrats tin as well. I took down the SpongeBob canvases because we're gonna be utilizing them else places in the room and since Spongebob already kind of has a whole side of the 
cavern dedicated to himself. I figured that we start this year working on diversity and adding some more Nickelodeon shows into the mix here. So I think this is a perfect job of it. And I want to continue to add some more items over here as well. Because again, once you come down, this entire section is dedicated to the sponge, which of course I love. And SpongeBob will always be my number one favorite. But since he does dominate everything else here, I think utilizing that top strip up there for other shows would be good to kind of, you know, meld it in everything. So he has his whole side of the room, his whole little desk set up, and then other Nickelodeon characters incorporated here. Because of course, he is still the king. Okay, and I love items that have crochet hooks because it makes it so much more fun to be able to add them into our, our crochet hook section. We have Perch Perkins and also Grandpappy Redbeard. So until we get the other ones in that line, I'm just gonna let it share this one we have here with the Build It's. For SpongeBob, I don't see them releasing more of these unless they do. So we're gonna add it onto this one because it is similar in size. Okay, so for the Jimmy Neutron notebook, again, we got wall space here. So I hung this one up here next to Jimmy so we can kind of have some more stuff coming along the wall here eventually for Jimmy as well too. You could expect us to hopefully do an opening with these ones, but I will definitely be keeping two sealed at least. And same thing with this one, I'm gonna order another box and we'll be opening these up on the channel down the line. And for the Nickelodeon Photo Blaster, it's gonna go in right over here. I think it looks really good right there. It looks perfect on this shelf as well. It's got that string back there. There we go, we have the Photo Blaster in the collection. Add it right here next to the SpongeBob like we talked about. I think he fits in perfect. Now this stuff up here, these are not even green and white label products. I just put them there to fill in the void. So I'm gonna take out SpongeGar. He's gonna go somewhere else or in the vault. And we're gonna put the tennis balls in here as a representation for green and white. And we'll go ahead and put this guy back here to still fill in that spot a little bit. And as we get more green and white label products, that'll fill up some of the other gaps that we have here. Cause there's a lot of stuff on here that's not green and white label, but everything down here pretty much is for the most part. This is where I hide all the, uh, you know, the, the little cards that come with different figures, all the backings and the boards for the pins that we have in the pin board. And since these are from these new overseas cards, I kept one of these boxes from the opening. So I'm gonna put it inside here whenever we have any like super special rare wines that are extras, we'll put them inside this container or this container, which is currently filled with a bunch of other pins that we have to do a video on eventually. So just keep them there for now. Okay, and for our yellow Avenger, we have one sealed here in the collection. Now we have one open. Let's go ahead and add this one up here with all the other PlayStation and you know, these, these size games right here. And for all of these ones, here's the one we had previously, the Easter themed one I love so much. We have three of them now together. Like I said, this would be cool in like some kind of long form frame, but who knows if we get more of them. So for these guys, they're all gonna be going into a new filing cabinet. I'm gonna buy a new container for it to go inside of there. That's not for files like papers, but files like really thin things just like this that happen to have figures in them, yo-yos, whatever it may be. So that way we have them documented, but not just that for reference if we ever need them, for example, in any of the videos. For the postcard, we added this in with the other postcard we have here in our Nickelodeon files. We also added the McDonald's Happy Meal along with the overseas gift card here. And of course, all the DVDs and VHSs, they're gonna go in wherever they belong in the media. And you could see this Auro Monsters one in the spooky shelf eventually too. Possibly one of my favorite items in the collection now, we have the Bikini Bottom bus here. And I filled it up with all the other capsules that they sent us as well. And I'm gonna put in all the other capsules that we have in the collection currently because I think we're gonna be collecting more of these down the line. So this will kind of be the briefcase of capsules. And it's really fun <laughs> to do this as well too. It's just really cool having all these like capsules inside of it. And I can't wait till hopefully one day we can fill this entire thing up with just different capsules from different series. I love the randomness of not knowing which one you're gonna pull out. I don't know, I could do this all day. <laughs> all right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys smack that like button, subscribe if you're new here, and also make sure you guys go check out the Patreon if you wanna support the show further. It helps me keep the upload schedule the way we have it here on YouTube and keeps everything moving. So if you wanna support, you'll get an extended version of this video and also every other video I upload on YouTube. Plus, if you want a free $15 towards any of the collectibles that you love or some brand new merch we're gonna be dropping very very soon go check it out on whatnot and you'll get $15 off anything you pick up or that merch when it drops if you haven't signed up already and I also stream every single Friday I'm selling off duplicates and excess from some of the hunts we do here on this show which all goes back into making this show possible so if you want to check that out the link will be down below and I'll see you guys over here in this video that I know you're gonna love and as always we're at pack I'll see you beautiful people in the next video adios and and bloop.